hiding from me. We're gonna watch that make team, that's the first thing. Let's go! Watching 718 do a little bit of first thinning. I, uh, I guess you could say today I made uh, my first filmmaker major mistake. So anyway, made my first major mistake mistake today doing film, and I uh, had an epic epic video for y'all if I say it's going to be epic I thought it was pretty cool I put a GoPro on the headache rack of one of our log trucks and let him run two loads so y'all would have got to watch him get you know it been a time lapse of getting to the mill then you'd have got to watch the crane unload the truck you'd have watched the loader load the truck you'd have got to see the whole trucking process out of this which is something you don't really get to see, and I was really excited for that. But I pressed the wrong button. Or I pressed the right button. It was just too long. Hawk just flew down over there and caught something. I don't know what it was, but he caught something. Anyway. That's just a, a thing you don't really get to see very often is the trucking side of this. But instead of video, I have like 15,000 photos. Turn around and walk away from him a little bit. Give us a little distance. He's getting a little close to me. So, I had to come down here and find my rubber tire. I'll try and find the skitter too, get you a little bit of both. He's like in the very furthest corner of the track, quarter and a half away from the set that you can be. But I found him. So this is the last little bit of this track. Last little bit of it. I had to track the track buncher out to the road to get diesel and there wasn't, I don't know, three or four more loads back here to be cut and we were ahead on the skidders. So I didn't even bother with bringing the track cutter back down in here because it's a long way to track for a load or two. He goes getting dry like this. We, we kind of fall back on the rubber tire pretty heavy. It is dusty, dusty, dusty. But according to the weathermen, this weekend they could all be changed. Talking about a tropical system moving in, possibly a small hurricane or a large tropical storm coming. And I've seen things, weather reports of like four to six. I've seen as much as 10 to 15 inches being forecasted for this weekend. So who knows? We'll 
sit here and let y'all watch it. Watch this though. I do have some drone footage to go with this. drone out really early this morning. He's looking at his tops trying to figure out where he needs to go next. Cut that skint one. out of his way. We'll finish. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll finish watching him cut this. showed y'all you know a month ago or so three weeks something like that that <coughs> we were teaching out of thin he's come a long way he cuts me a consistent I'd say eight loads a day so I try and cut you know five or six with the track cutter to in, the, in this kind of timber, I try and cut five or six or so in this kind of wood to help alleviate things, and that, that gives me more free time to <clears throat> work with the camera and get some YouTube stuff done throughout the day, but man, it's so much nicer to be able to keep up with all the boss side of things, you know, I, I can, uh, I don't have to wait till it's quitting time to go up there and do what I need to do. If something breaks, I can go help work on it or look at it or run parts or you know, whatever. shots for y'all. I don't know how cool that looked on video because I had to kind of close my eyes. That was a little bit closer than I wanted to be. We got covered in dirt and sawdust and everything else. But we got a good shot, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> We fixing the bell out on this one. And he got me cut. He's got me in a corner. And we gonna bail out. We gonna see if we can't find our skitter. Y'all hang tight. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so we found the skitter driver finally. We're we'll watching him build his drag.
This machine has a 19 foot square grapple on it. Means it can carry 19, I believe it means 19 cubic feet of wood inside the grapple. Wood about this size. He's dragging um, 8 to 10 tons of wood at a time. Larger wood. Uh, I'm shoot the other day larger wood he was probably dragging like 14 tons at a time and it was taking just a touch over two drags to load a truck it's quite impressive there's there some vines and stuff tied up in them tops they're trying to pull me down in case y'all ain't know it's hot 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 like whatever you got in the oven you know whatever you think you're cooking god it's done you can take us out now we're done <laughs> it's hot He'll probably got room for another pile if he's got it up here. He's slowing down like he's looking for his butts. See where the skitter just dipped off? That's your, uh, when you're running the skitter, that's your cue. When you're trying to lay the wood where the tires are going to go for the skitters, it's hard to see them and all that all the brush it's down here so you'll slow down you think you're getting close to the end of your butts you feel your machine dip off and you're like okay you feel it dip off and you know you need to roll up just a few more feet to grab uh, or to, to be where you need to be to drop your current bundle that you have on top of the bundle that's laid on the ground drop it and go drop it grab it and go He must have this roof clean. Oh no, I see some more laying up there. He might try and grab one more bundle. Looking, yep. He's gonna try one more bundle. I think I drag a big old thing of wood. That's probably processed. That's probably um that's gonna be close to 10 tons of wood. Big big drags like that, it takes about four nests to load a truck. We'll go ahead and walk on out. You see what he's got left here. Actually, we're going to stop and talk about something. Quick. So, say yesterday's video, I published the one about the. I say yesterday. Was it yesterday's? Yeah, it was yesterday's. It was yesterday. I get lost sometimes in all the videos that we have going on and whatnot. I know there's other machines that pull more wood. Um. I know you may can pull more wood with the same machine. Um, that's cool. Uh, I'm not having to try. I'm not trying to have a uh, pissing contest, for better words, with anybody over what machine is better or not. Or this is what I have. This is what I work with. This is what makes our living. Um, machines do fine job they do the job that I need done every day every day with the right operator uh, you can put a different operator on it and they don't you know sometimes they don't do what you need but jumping on my stuff and trying to tell me about how much more wood a 635 would pull and all, I've had those well we dad have you want to put it we as a company have had 630 25 635s um, we had them for a little over six years each 
We put uh, like 18,000 hours on one and 16,000 hours on the other. Uh, we've had every maker of Tiger Cat Skitter except for a 630 on my job. Actually, I take it back. We have had a 630 on our job at one time. We have not had a 632 on our job at one time. We have an 848 on the big job. We have a 748 here. We have a 620 here. Every machine has a different purpose. Uh, it's you can't just take one big machine and you know whatever. It, thinning is different, y'all. Thinning is so much different than clear cutting. And so, I mean that's cool. Y'all can pull that much wood with a 635 or a big grapple, you know, 948. That's cool. Uh, whenever I say my machine's pulling a monster drag, I'm not meaning to try and piss in y'all's Cheerios and let's let's uh have a dick measuring contest. I'm just letting you know my machine's got a big drag of wood in it. You know, to me that's cool. So. Uh, I'm just sharing my day with you. I'm not saying my stuff's better than your stuff. We're not the best. We're far from it. Far, far from it. We're pretty good, but we're not the best, I don't think. Uh, we do good for a, a four-man crew. So, anyway, I figured I'd touch on that because it seems like here lately, anything that's posted, especially in Facebook, and I put it on Facebook because... It, it helps drive traffic to the page new people see it through Facebook every day according to analytics on YouTube I gain new viewership every day through through Facebook so that's why I put it on there and uh, but when I put something there sometimes you know it's I'm kind of bragging sometimes I'm not for my machine the the drags that you know that it pulls for its size, it's a big old drag of wood, man. Have fun, enjoy the videos. Just an heads up though, it don't matter if y'all sit there and dislike every video and make a negative comment on every video. Y'all still made interaction with the channel. YouTube still sees it as a interaction. They don't see that it's a negative comment from you. So if you're trying to bring me down, tough because that's <laughs> being negative ain't gonna do it